I am your commanding officer, but you are the father, Gilly. Yes, guys, big reveal in the Mayans MC episode 6 of season 5. Gilly, let's wait five seasons to give him something interesting, and I'm not even that interested. Sorry to burst your wee bubble, Billy boy. Woo! Well, I mean, it is a reveal. It's revealed that Gilly's a father, but, I mean, technically... It doesn't really get revealed to anybody because, by the way, they're talking. It's like Gilly already knows. It's revealed to us. Damn it's revealed it. to us. It's revealed to the viewers. And you know what? This scene doesn't sit with me at all. I really don't like it. I really don't like this Ray character. I don't like her shitey son that pisses the bed either, to be honest. And as much as I disagree politically with CM Punk, I think CM Punk's the man. I like CM Punk. And I think his character, Paul, is, is being done dirty in this show even in this scene she's taking like jabs at Paul saying that he hasn't held up to his now does that does, does Paul know I, I can't imagine he does but like she's taking jabs at Paul saying he hasn't held up his end of the agreement you're the one that's fucking left him you're the one that's married and you're, you're sleeping in another man's bed and basically lying to him about the fact that this kid's not even his, so... I think he might know, because I feel like it's more of a case of maybe Paul went with her after she had the kid, potentially, because Gilly was going with her, and, and she, as she said, here, here, I was your commanding officer, I had to shut that shit down. It's not really clear, because she, men she mentions that he's going to be hurt and he's going to be angry, but is she talking about Paul or is she talking about Jacob? To me, it, sound, it came across to me that it would be Jacob, right? But at the end of the day, you almost get through this conversation that Ray's like the one that was like, ah, Gilly, you, you're not allowed to be a father 10 years ago. You're not allowed. I'm your commanding officer. And I hate it how she had to get that in. I'm your commanding officer. It just felt very forced. It's in my fucking opinion. irrelevant. It's, it's almost like, here, we just need to show that women are above men in this show. That's legitimately what it was to me. Like, her being the commanding officer didn't mean shit. Yeah, and that, no. And, but they just got it in there before Gilly cuts her off. It just made sure that I was your command. Really? <laughs> she was the commanding officer? How, unlikely, very unlikely. I'm yeah, sure. but see, see when Clay's sitting with his oxygen tank, does he turn around and go, hey, I was your president? No, he doesn't fucking turn around and say that's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. I know we don't need it shoved in our face. Honestly, uh, and oh, Jesus Christ, man. I was your commanding officer. And it's, uh, it's also, she goes, yeah, it doesn't matter that you've looked at for us the past six months. You've slept out in your truck because that kid's pissed the bed. You need to take off the patch or you can't look at him, man. Yeah, then she gives Gilly an ultimatum. She says, look, yeah, you've basically kept, you've basically taken us in. You've basically been a father figure. And yeah, you, you can wear that patch if you want. You can be Uncle Gilly in the Mayans, but you can't be Father Gilly in the Mayans. Yeah, which is like, who, is she, who the fuck does she think she is? There's nothing character, man, laying this to him. It just seems like... Why would Gil... Does Gilly actually... I don't understand any of this, man. This should have been happening in, like, season one and two. Instead of Gilly just being the fat guy in the background of, like, the rat crew with Easy, Coco, and Angel. Should it not? The only thing Gilly did in season one was some really, really bad fucking dancing with a shirt that didn't suit him at the end of the season. I had a really pish tattoo. Aye, Oh, oh snake tattoo because we're snakes. No, Gilly hasn't really done anything. This story with Ray's not doing anything for me. Uh, how will Paul find out? That's a, again, they just don't explain it clearly. Does Paul know or does Paul not know? I mean, if Paul does know, I, like, I, I don't. I, I'm assuming he doesn't, considering that he still comes to see his son, Jacob. I mean, if it wasn't his son, then. I'm not saying you can't be close to someone who's not biologically yours, but... It's it, a bit weird that Gilly... They're kind of portraying him as an arsehole. So if he really was an asshole, then, like, why would he waste time to come and visit a son that isn't his? No, but is it not a bit weird, though, that, like, we've seen it in episode four, I believe, in Punk Came Back, Paul, that the actual mother and father are giving away their son to the guy that's, like, the stepdad, but obviously they're kind of broke up at the minute. Would that not be weird? Yeah, so... He's taking them to school where those two just sit with their thumbs up their arses. I'm going to assume Paul doesn't, know. CM Punk, mate, whip it. You're the commanding of... I am the best in the world. CM Punk's the draw, right? He's the guy that had the UFC career, even though it lasted two fights. He's the guy that 
has been main eventing big shows apart from the biggest one of them all. WrestleMania. He's the guy that sold the most shots apart from the guy that sold the actual most shots, John Cena. Like CM Punk, I guess he's always been second best. And hell, now now he's coming second best to Gilly. Yeah. Machine, it ain't, ain't a good look. You know what? Is this storyline going to get wrapped up soon? Gilly is writing. Uh, ap- he's either writing or directing. I think he's writing episode eight of this season. We thought, right, that's him dead. Could it just be a simple case of he hands his cotton? Could- <sighs> no. If anyone's going to hand a cotton, it would have been Angel, surely. Well, I don't know. He's giving away ultimatum. I tell you what, though. See if that does happen. And like, Any Taza, I just, had for Taza hasn't died. He just left and Gilly died. And by that point, we're looking at episode eight and no minds have died. I, I would be more concerned about Paul being the one to kill Gilly, even though you think that the minds should be dying to sons. Maybe, I think Paul's, that's, maybe Paul's patching in the Sam Crow. I, I just think if Paul finds out that he'll basically, I, I'm not even the dad and I've been raising this guy that pisses it's me We're calling him Paul, isn't it? Uh, Paul. Fucking see it. it's Pe- Paul. Pepsi Paul Pepsi Paul anyway guys I saw a side in this video Gilly doesn't really deserve any more time in my opinion I'm going to be honest I've watched this scene way too many times and I'm still a bit confused as to what happened so if, if someone can anyone in the comments if you can clear it for us let us know is Paul aware when, when she said that he's going to be upset was she referring to Paul or was she referring to Jacob I think it's hard to tell it wasn't very clear in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Did Paul already know, or is Paul going to find I, out? I'm 80% sure she was referring to Jacob, but... When she says Paul is not living up to his end of the bargain, was there some sort of deal where if Paul was a good father, then she wouldn't tell Jacob the truth? I mean, could that be it? It could be a, It's just... It's just blurred. I'm away to rewatch this scene again, guys. <laughs> I'll be back. As Arnold's watching, they're going to say... I'll be back in a... Yeah, Gilly, well, you keep puffing on those uh, wee fucking cigars, mate, and try and earn your top rocker back. Yeah, we don't actually have a clue what's to... I'm going to be honest, I don't, I don't fucking know what's happening in this scene. I don't care, right? I don't care. See, if it was, like, happy and fucking the race, bros, I'd be watching it a million times to figure out the exact truth, what's actually going on. I don't really care what's going on here. Yeah, all, Gilly, Gilly probably won't even be in the next episode. All I know is this son that he didn't really know about or didn't really visit... It's like, no, I mean, but so Gilly knows this is his son and he doesn't even visit him until, what, midway through season four. And even when he gets there, he doesn't show any sort of, oh, how you doing? It was, it was more happy to see Punk. <laughs> it was like CM Punk. Hey, man, <laughs> I, I stole your kid and your wife soon. Hey, give me a hug, bro. I mean, like, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Surely if this was like, well, obviously it is his son, but you would think, would they not have him be Uncle Gilly from the beginning of the show and then lead to this? Guess the problem is, though, it's like... But then I was going to say, the problem is you might not have been able to get Punk for the start, but then it didn't need to be Punk playing Could have been anybody. Even though I think it's a good choice picking CM Punk, but at the end of the day, for the sake of Gilly's character, it would have just made more sense to this be like from season one. Yeah, I'm not. And again, just approaching the end of the series, like, we just don't need this. They're, tie- they're trying to tie up loose ends that they should never have started. No, yeah, exactly. Like, Ex- see, you look at it, though, they have waited until later, later seasons to start trying to develop characters. Even Creeper. Never really done anything with him until season four. Yep. It's like, why couldn't that relationship he had with Cody, why couldn't that have been on a wee bit longer? Why couldn't that have been started earlier? I don't you know, look but... At, you look at Hank, now they're trying to do this thing with Hank and his mother. Why? Why five seasons in? At least with Creeper, though, they've done it really good. The rest, uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. No, they have, like, but they've left it too late, in my opinion. Yeah, like, you, you look at Creeper, I, I would say he's similar to Juice, in a way. Obviously, he didn't write, he's still fair. But, like, Juice was still a pretty decent character up until, like, you know, his proper heel turn. Look at Taz and Bishop. <laughs> Didn't even know their names till season three. That's bad. That's bad. That is it. Catch you in the next one.